Hey guys, it's Susan. It is five o'clock. It is Friday and it is time for some wine. Um, yes, it's been a long week. It's been a long week. But you know, every week as a mom is a long week, isn't it? So yes, tonight we are going to be pairing uh, all sorts of wines with hummus. And you think, okay, hummus, big deal. Like, right, everyone has hummus. It's in their grocery stores and everyone has it usually in the refrigerator. It's a staple. I mean, because, you know, it, it's good for, you know, parties. It's good for people when they drop in. It's good for vegetarians. It's good for non-vegetarians, right? Hey, Heather, how are you? Um, so, you know, hummus is just everyone's all around favorite. The vegans and the veggies and all that good stuff. So uh, you're like, okay, but it's, who cares? It's hummus. It's boring. Why do I want to wine, wine taste it with that? Well, tonight we're not doing your ordinary hummus. We are doing all sorts of hummuses. We are going to be tasting. I know you probably saw the list. We're going to be tasting all sorts of different flavors. And a lot of these flavors you can get in the grocery store. Some of them you can't. Some of them you might have to make. So if you get, grab some hummus out of your fridge or grab one from the, from the grocery store, grab a bottle of anything and come taste with us. Because I know there's like five pairings on the list today. My feet are getting eaten by red fire ants. This is crazy. I'm at the pool again and I am. my feet are getting eaten by fire ants. If you haven't been bitten by a fire ant, you don't want to get bitten by fire ant. Okay, anyways. So the first pairing that we're going to do tonight is we're going to be doing just your tra traditional classic hummus. Who else is joining me? Heather. How are you, Heather? What are you doing? Are you drinking, drinking with me? Happy birthday to the little. Can you believe it? She, is she seven now? Is she really seven? She can't be seven. Anyway. Okay, so classic hummus. This is one of my favorite brands because it comes in this ginormous tub like you can swim in it. And I think we got this, you can get it at like Costco. It's called Classic Organic, Granic, Classic Organic Hummus made by this company called Hanna, right? Okay, now you can, I, I don't think you can find this in your regular grocery store because usually the stuff you see in your grocery store is usually like Sabra or something like that and there's nothing wrong with Sabra. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I like this particular brand. This one's my fave and I usually stock up on these. So. Um, we're going to taste this tonight with just your regular old pita bread. Now it's not toasted or anything, it's coming straight out of the bag. Um, so we're going to taste it with some um, pita bread and uh, you know, you can get the, tea, you know, the, who makes it? The, like the Stacy's pita chips, those would be good too. Um, I just figured we we're going to be doing some crunching, some non crunchy some breads and some non bread So we're, I'm going to try this one um, with just your regular old pita right out of the fridge with hummus right out of the fridge. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to tear this open. Hot Miss Mama. Hot Miss Mama doing wine taste. Hot Miss Mama. She is. Hot Miss Mama. See, they know me. I feel like it's a liberty around these parts. So, yes, we are going to, I'm just going to tear this pita up a little bit because you get, you got to dip it. And you know what, tonight, double dipping's okay. I'm okay with double dipping tonight. I do have a friend joining because she's a mom, though, so you know what that means. When you say that you're going to be there at 5, it's usually 5.30, so that's okay because that's mom time. So, okay, I am starving and I'm going to dip. Pita bread. Dipping in the traditional hummus. Ooh, that's a lot of hummus. All right. What was I? Now, when I initially started doing the research on this, quite good. When I initially started doing the research on, you know, hummus, I always kind of thought hummus was a healthy food. I mean, it is, but like, you can't eat it in bulk. Like you couldn't sit down and eat this whole thing and think, oh, I'm so healthy, I ate this thing of hummus. And it's, you know, hummus is just vegetables, right? You gotta eat this in moderation. But not tonight. Tonight we have a reprieve. Okay, so if you've never made hummus, you can make hummus really easy, super easy, but like it's just as easy to grab it out of the, you know, freezer, freezer, refrigerator section at your deli. Hummus usually includes chickpeas or what we call garbanzo beans. Um, and it usually includes some spices and stuff. Maybe it's a little oil, maybe some lemon, that kind of stuff. And um, tahini, and tahini is a sesame paste. Um, and so, you know, that's that's kind of the ingredient that you normally wouldn't have in your cabinet that you would have a hard time finding. That's why most people just go out to the store and buy their hummus, you know, from the refrigerated section. But you can easily buy tahini and make your own. So literally you just like get your chickpeas, you can even get in like your garbanzo beans, straight out of a can, drain it, throw them in a blender with some olive oil, some lemon, some spices, and some tahini, and you got yourself some of this gorgeous hummus and garlic. Garlic's a really good one too. You can mix anything in these, like with red pepper, or you can mix in, um, olive tapenade or you know all sorts of stuff mixings you can put in basil um that you can blend in together with your hummus but now just so that you know what they consider a serving of hummus is two tablespoons two, i think i probably ate two tablespoons just right now two tablespoons is a serving size and then a serving size there's 70 calories 
very low fat. I mean, because you know, it's just like I said, it's mostly like just chickpeas or garbanzo beans. Um, and it's got about fat, five grams of fat, and it's got four grams of carbs and two grams of protein. So I mean, it's pretty healthy in terms of it's not like overly carb heavy, and it's not. Um, overly, you know, sugarified or fatty, um, but like two tablespoons is like supposedly a serving size. So I guess that like, you know, it works really. I don't know. You there's so many ways that you can you can eat hummus. Truly, truly, you can eat hummus as a spread, like um, on bread or on sandwiches, or you can um, you can use it in egg salad or tuna salad or chicken salad. You can use it. In baking, I mean, like, there's a whole laundry list of things that you can eat hummus with. What do you eat hummus with? Tell me what you eat hummus with, as I, or how you eat hummus. You can put it in deviled eggs. I heard that's really good. Now, and pita. Don't discount the pita. Oh, this is really good. You can get whole wheat pita, and the regular pita, like regular flour pita. What I'm eating right now is like a flax oat bran and whole wheat pita bread. You know, and they're great, you know, you can open them up, eat your little pita pocket sandwiches, right? Very, very easy. Easy way to spend a Friday night at the pool. I'm surprised that they, you know, when I did my research, that they had said to do the traditional hummus with the rosé. Because my experience is, is that you can do a traditional hummus with anything. Like I've, I've had traditional hummuses with red wine, with white wine, with champagne, cocktails. I've had it with that. Oh look who's here, guys. Friends are here. But I'm, oh, I've never had rosé before and it's quite tasty. Oh, and I was with her last channel. Yes, Enzo was with me last, the other day. Hmm? Okay, so. I was in last channel. We've got channel. friends here that are gonna go swimming while we do our work. Cowabunga! Mm-hmm. Huh? Cowabunga. You can call bungalow somewhere else because mommy's drinking. Okay, right here. It's no tablespoon. Not a half. Right here. So, my friend Melissa's here again. Super awesome mom. She came out to the beach with her kids. She's got a place over here. And she um, has her three kids again this week. And then my two kids on top of it. I think she got pizzas for the kids. I'm supplying watermelon and popsicles. There she is. She's there. She's come. She's, remember, she was the one who spilled the wine all over the table last time? And she's the one where I think my kid was drowning her kid and she jumped in the pool with her clothes on. Remember that? That was fun. That was my moment. Unscripted. So. I don't know about rosé. Rosé, the only time I ever really drink rosé is really, really cold. It's in the summertime. I can't, I don't, you know, you know, there's those, there's certain things in the summer that like just say summer. Lemon, watermelon, white wines, crisp, light cocktails. And then there's another, you know, the things that say, you know, fall and winter, like the warm, earthy reds and, you know, pumpkin and nuts and meats and cheeses. I don't care. I'll eat them all any day of the week. Throw a hot dog at me. As you know, we've actually tasted wine with hot dogs before. So, I really don't know what to talk about tonight because I haven't had enough to drink. So, I'm going to have another sip. I will say that. There was something that there's been on my mind. Well, it isn't on my mind, but like, okay. After Father's Day, like, okay, how was your Father's Day? Like, we had a great Father's Day because we like took kids on a scavenger hunt. I dragged my husband around all over the place. He may not have liked it so much. He had fun, but like, you know, was that a typical Father's Day? No, but it was fun for the whole family. We could all participate. But then, you know what? Like, then it's like, oh, I gotta shower. And I gotta shave my legs for you. Because how much I live, I gotta shave my legs for you. And then we gotta give it up, right? I'm like, what are, I, I feel like I shouldn't be complaining when my husband gets frisky. But like there's some days I'm just like, dude, I'm so tired. I don't just or then just get it over with, right? And like, but you don't want to like discount that because you don't. Then, then you'll yearn for the days where you're like, here. you'll yearn you. for the days where you're like, he doesn't find me attractive anymore. Don't you ever find me attractive anymore? What am I gonna do? Blah blah blah. Okay, well, I've had one of those moments. Sorry. Like, no, she's jumping in on the good, conversation. Good. Good moment. Good point. We were talking about okay, Father's Day and how like like our Father's oh. Day gifts were like yeah, no. I'm, I'm shaving my legs and I'm giving it up. Happy Father's Day. But um, she's tasting the rosé for the first time with the pita. Mm. It's a different kind of pita. Very it's a good. black oh. flax oat bran hmm. wheat pita. Anyways, so yes. Well, thank you. So like I'm kind of at the point where I'm like okay, you're you're awesome and I love you and I don't want you to think that I'm not attracted to you, but dude, I'm just exhausted. I'm so tired. I don't want to, you know. So. 
You don't feel bad. You should not feel bad. I should I feel bad? No. Like, so I'm like, okay, but, but so I don't want to say no. So what do you say? You say, oh. all right, just let's get it over. And isn't that terrible? Isn't that a terrible thing to say? Yeah. I don't even know if she's in the frame because I can't see anything. Can you see anything? Yeah, there, you're in the frame. I, I don't even know, like, I don't want to, is it what's worse? Okay, what, in your opinion, what's worse? When you just say, no, I'm not up for it tonight? Or you just kind of say, okay, but let's get it over really fast. Like, no foreplay, I don't even care about foreplay, just get it over with. Because I know you need it and I don't care right now and I just want to go to sleep. What's worse? Like just saying, no, I'm not into it or just get it over with. What do you think is worse? worse. And you, what do you think? Well, see, but me, you know, me. I know, but like, do you think they care? Like, I think they're probably just like, whatever, no. just give it up. They, they would just rather do it. Let's be honest. They would rather just do it. I think they would rather just do it. I don't think that, even if they were like dead asleep, I think they would still do it because that's, oh, yeah. that's just the primalness of it all. Yeah. And I know. Different. I know. And I did a Facebook Live on this not so long ago, like way, way back in the day, like when I first started about like the secret sex life of a mom. Because we do love our husbands, but we are just like, we give all of ourselves all of the time to everything to our kids, to our pets, to our homes, to our jobs, to our. Husbands, like, and I was like, at what point is there some me in this? And that's really, it, I know that's really selfish because this is what we signed up for, and that's great, and that's lovely, but um, yeah, like, at what, like, when do you declare? I mean, when do you declare? Like, I need five minutes of me. When my husband comes home from work early unexpectedly, and I say, see you later. I know, and isn't that terrible? Because like the bad. first thing that we do when they come home is dump the kids and go, and go, and, and we just want out. Like, we just want our out. Kids are so small. I did another Facebook Live You're on that the, 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 today. It was yesterday, yesterday I did a Facebook Live on this. If, anyone was, if you haven't seen it, it's worth a watch. Um, because I came to the realization. I, think I saw this part where Enzo was. Yeah, Enzo was all over me. Yeah, um, but I didn't care because it was one all over me. It wasn't two of them all over me. And so, like, I was, I was asking the question, like, does it ever get easier? Does it ever get easier? This whole parenting thing, and is it really like, like, is it, does it get easier or harder when you have more kids or less kids, or does it get easier or harder when they're older or younger, or does it get easier or harder when they're close in age or farther in age? You know, and and like. Although it's really hard and we complain and we say we're so tired and all that all, all the time, like we know that when they go off to college, we're going to lose, or off to, you know, they leave the nest, we're all going to lose our minds because we're going to be like, I really miss that. And that's really a sick, that's sick. That's sick yeah. that like all of our, like we're going to spend 18 years of our life plus complaining about, not complaining, but like, you know, yeah. being, being exhausted yeah. to then, she's holding the plate, to then so sad it. so sad that like they're gone like we're gonna miss it the minute they step out the door but it up until from birth to the minute they walk out of the door we're gonna be saying to ourselves I'm exhausted does this but ever get any better back. they do come back I hear they come back they come back when they're hungry and they need, need their laundry money. done apparently they need or, money. or need money yeah. I don't know I still go back for laundry do you see I, my parents are I mean my dad's gone now and my mom's in her 80s, so there is no going back. If I go back, it's I'm taking care of mom. I'm not like my mom would be watching, because I don't even think she knows what Facebook is. But, um, yeah, like if I went back to my mom right now, I'd be taking care of her. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's fine, because like at some point, I'm going to hope and pray that my kids are going to take care of me, right? What's your plan for that? See, she's much younger than me. How many years younger? Very, like what, 30 something? Yeah. 30 what? 35. Um, I didn't think about that. Okay, one. she's like. Seven years younger than me, eight years younger than me. Um, well, I think we only think one of our children will take care of us. The other two. I don't know if any of my kids are gonna like want to ever take care of me. But you know what? Just go live in Europe. Say sayonara, kids. That's what my mom did. Say love you. Like my dad passed, and my mom's like, you know what? Well, they, my mom and dad lived overseas in Europe. They they lived there part time during the year, and then they would come back to the U.S. But their primary residence, for all intents and purposes, they spent more time there than they do here. Um, they were living in the country where they were born. And so and my mom like finds it easier to be there than to be here. But I'm like, but you're gonna, you're literally not gonna know your grandkids. Like you're not gonna get to know your grandkids because you're gonna be in Europe most of the year. Like, and we're not gonna be flying out there to Europe with two little kids to see you. Number one, that's, that's crazy. And number two, um, that's expensive. So 
we kind of think like, okay, that's sad that my kids are not going to have a relationship with their, their grandmother. But on the other token, she's like, she's 83. She's 83. And she's, you know, she's getting up there. And this, this, this might be one of the last years that she actually is living overseas because I don't know if... Like at some point, you couldn't just pick up and go live overseas because someone is going to have to take care of you, whether that be a cousin or a nephew or a, a nursing home or a assisted living or something well, like that. There are a lot more older people in Europe, in the U.S. nowadays. Yeah, yeah. So that that is. If you are young and you're going to college, go into elder care. No have you kidding. seen? Have you seen some of these uh, like assisted living facilities? Yeah, I've been in some. They're amazing. There's ama an amazing one we saw when we went to California, right by where we saw the seals. It's like right there off on San top of the hill in uh, San Diego, La Jolla. I mean, yes. it must be uh, expensive uh -huh. to 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 um really to live, live and there. die there. But it, it's. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. Well, let me tell you, I have been able to see some of these assisted living facilities because we were looking with my parents because they were at one point entertaining, like downsizing and living in assisted living. Um, but they are old school and they're from, they're born, my dad was born in 1929. And like when they think old folks homes or convalescent homes, they think like sanitariums and asylums where they like chain you down to the beds and it's very sterile and you just kind of rot. But like we just started to kind of take them around. I'm like, well, this is not what I'm used to. This is not what I, I grew up knowing. There's like, you, you sign on to these things and there's like a country club and they have dining they have golf. and they have golf and they have swimming and they have activities and they have like, they're like whole communities. They're like little cities where they like have their own grocery store and their own movie theater and their own bowling alley and their own golf course and their own swimming pool. And, and they, they have people, awesome. they have people that can drive them to their doctor's appointments and they have, um, you know, they have excursions and they have social events and they have clubs and they have, like I said, the dining halls and it's just amazing and they like and they 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 clean your house and they take yeah. care of your lawn and, and you kind of you can graduate into steps like you can like start with a little like miniature condo or home and then like graduate into condo and then go into apartment like as you you know get older you can just kind of keep downsizing and then when you get to the point where you just need more hands-on care you kind of move into like the the main building where they kind of have rooms like almost like you know apartment rooms or wherever where they take care of you in the building and they have doctors on staff and they mm -hmm. it's kind of like really, yeah. yeah and it's not so bad it's I mean, awesome and they have people that come in with, i know with, with being forgotten being at home and being you know, forgotten and dying at home left. alone that's what my aunt is going through right now it's kind of tragic she doesn't want to Go somewhere, but she can't drive anymore. Right. I mean, what is the future for her? Right. Parents? And like they don't, but like they don't want to give up their homes. There's something about them giving up their own homes, their own space, and it's like, what? And, and me looking at it going, what do you care? Like, you want to just fall? Like, and I, my mom has one of those fall down pendants. Oh, that's a champagne. That's us. That's my cue. Okay. That's our cue for the next one. The, the, the cork literally popped out of the champagne bottle. Yeah. It was because I have one of those plastic stoppers drink up. We're going on to number two. Okay. okay. She's like, okay, remember I gotta drive. And so, but like even well, my, my, sis my sister. My husband may be on the way. So oh, cool. We may be able to leave a car here. Awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so like my sister was saying, I would like, her husband and I are like, we would love to live in one of those places. Like we'd have all of our friends and we'd hang out and they have social events and like, they have entertainment that comes in and they go play like like be awesome and like people cook for you and they clean for you and like that's like that's like it's not the it. best food but but like yeah but it's it's not it's it's food that's palatable for someone of that hey, what, what what am i you know, i actually had because we're tasting so many of these tonight i actually had to write a list because okay next we are tasting edamame hummus with cucumbers and champagne. And I've never had an amame hummus, but now hummus is traditionally made with chickpeas, but you can make hummus. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm you can make hummus chicken. with all sorts of other beans. You can make hummus with uh, like navy oh. beans or cannelli beans, or you can make hummus with edamame, or you can make hummus with black beans. You are um, right. Yes. And there so there is no edamame. There's, um, there's no chickpeas nope. in here. This is edamame. And if you don't know what edamame it has is, though. it is a, it's a Japanese, um, a Japanese kind of soy based bean. Um, and you get it a lot in, in the pods and you go to like your, when you go get sushi, you eat them out of the pods and they're like, they eat them, they go to the bars in Japan and they eat it like popcorn. Um, so, but it's, it's like, it's soy based, like I said, so it's super duper healthy. And, um, I think it's really tasty. I love edamame. I could eat it all day long. 
um, like popcorn. But um, so we're gonna taste this. They they recommended because uh, edamame is just it's, it's like you know, it's cool, it's clean, it's fresh. Um, and are you okay? I'm fine. I'm watching child. Kids okay mommy's running interference while i open up this as i cook you this as i show you this homemade homemade uh selection of edamame hummus like i said edamame hummus is made out of the uh, out of edamame which is like a it's like a, almost like a soybean um and we're supposed to be tasting this with uh cucumbers which i think is probably sounds pretty delightful let's try this with some cucumbers um yes like some cucumbers in the, you know, telltale mommy's in black bag. So they said to taste this, you know, like you think about, like when you go to a Japanese restaurant, you get like a sushi and you get cucumbers and edamame and they have to do like seaweed, seaweed salads with cucumbers and, you know, just everything is very like, just like clean and fresh and not overly fried, not overly fatty. Tasting a little bit of champagne with that. Cucumber. My dad used to call these cukes. Cukes. Put this out of my hands. No. If you put, if you put this out of my hands in front of me, I don't think I would be able to tell that it was edamame. And there is this kind of like chili pepper garnish on top with some sesame seeds, which I think. will enhance the flavor. Take a cucumber. Dip it. And I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna try it now with this like I think it's a red pepper garnish. Hmm. I'm not really a fan. I like edamame. Not overly I would have thought that, that would have been spicy or hot. But it's not. Thank you. Taste it with champagne. That might change your mind. That's true. I do forget. That's the whole point of this. I know, right? Where's that rectus cereal? I know, oh, you know what? I get. I, this is terrible. I give my kids cereal for lunch. No, it's not. Man, I keep hearing that baby cry, and I think yes, one of my kids' mom syndrome. I just block it out after a while. I can't. Mm. You're not a fan? I really can't taste much of a difference. Let me try. With a sip of champagne. I can't taste much of a difference. I mean, it's not bad, and it does taste better with the champagne. It's different. Everything tastes better with the champagne. Oh. <laughs> Chickpea hummus can be really heavy and thick. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm okay with that. I kind of like that. Yeah. But like, what do you eat your hummus with? Because I was just saying that, like, yeah. hummus I, sandwiches. Hummus sandwiches. Like, you can put hummus in, like, deviled eggs. You can put hummus in, like, chicken salad, and egg salad, and you can, I was just you can cook, you can cook with it. Bed meat, vegetables. In a pita. Like, in a pita. Yep, with veggie. Hummus, your yum. Delish. Super yum. The delish spread. Delicious. Okay, so. Okay, we are on to, that was, we're on two now. So we were talking about getting old and dying. Hey, I'm kind of, happy I know, I'm kind of frightened by this, the whole thing, because I had my kids really late in life. You didn't. And like, seriously, I, every time I go to the gym, every time I don't want to go to the gym, I say to myself, you got to get your ass in the gym because you need to keep up with these kids. You know why? Because yeah. like my parents couldn't even pick up my kids. Couldn't carry them, couldn't keep up with them, couldn't walk with them, couldn't do anything with them. I don't want that for my grandkids. Like I want to be able to play with my grandkids. I want to be able to babysit my grandkids. I want to be able to keep up with them. And I, that's why I like, I, that's what gets me into the gym every day. Well, okay, not every day. That's good. Oh, yeah. But, you know. I mean, so Ooh, what I'm, here. I have two sets of parents in our, I have my set, my parents, so the kids, my, the grandparents on my side. That's a good way to say that. And then the parents on the husband's side are very different. Like doesn't don't really play with them. And are they older? No, it's just part of that generation. The same age. It's just they just they didn't really play with their own kids, really. They you know what? 
my parents never played with me. They were like, you know what, open the door. They didn't even open the door for me. They, just, they would go to work and I would go out and play. Yeah. I would go out and play and I'd play in the streets. I'd be climbing the trees. I would be riding the bikes. I'd be swimming in lakes by myself with my friends. No parents. There was no parents that never played with us, ever. And that, that's okay though. I, it's totally okay, but like, why is it that our kids feel, why, why does society today make it so that they, like, yeah. there's a stigma that if you're a mom that doesn't play. Like, there's a stigma, but like, kids need to learn to play independently. I mean, I, I would say I played a lot with my older son, and he is so much less independent now, and that I've been, ever since, you know, we become more independent with each child, because out of pure Yeah, she is, I love it. I told you guys all about this, like, we went out one day, and like, we're eating at, like, you know, the taco place with the kids, and was, they're running around tearing up the taco place, and I was like, um... How are you dealing with this? I'm freaking out right now. They're like literally like tearing the salsa off the salsa bars. And she's like, I gave up. And I was like, huh. Kind of like, this is how I'm going to remember her forever. She's like, I'm like, huh. Yeah, kind of like that. Let's get a beer. Let's give up. So we like gave me our little beers. And we said, to give it up. Because that's it. Like you can't, you can't stress over this stuff. You can't do it all the time. You can't do it. You can't. You can't. Open the door for Sean to get through. Everybody parents differently. Everyone does everything that they can. And and I watched this video this week of this another like mom blogger and I was it was beautiful and I wish that I could have like I'll have to put it in the comments or something. She she was just brilliant. She's like, I just wanna tell you, I wanna take a few minutes to tell you that you're awesome. You're awesome. No matter how you parent, no matter what you do, you're awesome. And you know what? Maybe you're not beautiful. Maybe you're not like the fashion plates. But you know what? You've got the stretch marks. And you know how they all say the stretch marks are your badge of honor? Well, you know what? Screw that. They don't feel like a badge of honor. But you know what? They are. Because you know what? You can look back at that when your kids are in college and remember that that body birthed that child. And show them. Yeah. And she, that's the proof, you know? <laughs> you better no. listen to me. It was just really super... No, ma'am. No shooting at people. No, ma'am. Do you want me to take that away? comes at the pool. Our rule is you can shoot them anywhere but not at people. And that lasts for about it three seconds. It felt really good. I was burning up. Are you burning up? Oh man. So good. Well, we should do our next broadcast in the pool. I know. We should. But you know what? The problem with the, doing the broadcast in the pool is oh, that yeah, we don't have I have to get a GoPro. It's a joke. It's no, joke. it's not a joke. I need. Does anybody have a GoPro that I can borrow? Because I will totally do the next like wine tasting in the pool. We'll probably drown. We won't drown. We won't drown. <laughs> we totally won't drown. Our kids would dunk us like every time. What do we got next? We All got, right. so what were we talking about? So, um, oh, so yeah, so like, I, so, so it was really yeah. awesome how this woman was, going, this like other blogger was out there saying, you know what, and I, the, she was really poignant about it. She's just like, you know what? So what? So what, we don't wear makeup. So what? So what that we're not beautiful? You know what? That is just a testament that we sacrifice every ounce of our being into our children and into our family. And for all of those moms that like have the extra time to do their hair and the beautiful wardrobes and the selfies and all that like photoshopping, good great, you. good for you. But you know what? How I choose to parent is to be a hot freaking mess with my hair in a bun and no makeup and giving all of that time that would go dedicated to that to my kids. Yep. And th that's not to say that those other women are not dedicating time to their kids. Absolutely not. But like, you know what? This body needs sleep. I'm an old mom. I'm an old mom, and this old mom, mom needs sleep. Okay, we're on to the next. So, but what my takeaway from the grandparents that play and don't play is that really, it's just about a positive relationship, and you show your children through your relationship with the grandparents. You're showing your children to respect, respect elders. Look at me. Does it matter? That's awesome. Yeah, is that yeah. Awesome? Go a little deeper. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I mean, like, so I used to get really upset that the grandparents didn't play. I used to bitch about it in front of my husband and the kids a lot. And I got to that point where we're, we're showing, like, the kids are getting more anxious when they went there. And it wasn't worth it. And they still have a happy relationship with both sets of parents. And that's okay. And that's what we're teaching them, right? That's what we're trying to teach them. That's right. Absolutely. That's the whole point. I mean, like my son, but like my dad was in a wheelchair. And at one point, before he was, my dad actually had a scooter. And so he had like one of those like a ride along scooters. Right? And, awesome. and my, my son would like sit in my dad's lap. And they would tool around the driveway, like having races in the, in the scooter. And it was beautiful. You know? awesome. And so like just the, the fact that my dad would take that time to 
Yeah, and be okay with the fact that my son is sitting in his lap as they're scooting around the driveway. That's a memory my son will never forget. Yeah. My, but my mom, on the other hand, she never was a player. She just never was a player, and that's just her style, and that's okay, that's fine. <sighs> Not another bar crawl. Um, but, like, that's why I think my, my son will always have fond memories of my dad and why my son was kind of so distraught when my dad had passed. Okay, so now we're moving on to the black bean hummus. Same brand. And you know why this is the same brand? Because it was like a buy one, get one. Same brand. And we're supposed to be drinking this with like a Gewurz Terminer. And if, I know you're probably going, what the hell is a Gewurz Terminer? A Gewurz Terminer is a German, really kind of sweet white wine. You can also do a Riesling, which is also a German sweet white wine. Or you can also do a Moscato, which is kind of like an Italian. So whatever you got that's white and sweet, put it in a glass. So I did not, as much as I said, oh, let's drink with Gewurz Terminer, I couldn't find any in my stash. So I ended up finding some Moscato in the very sassy plastic airline bottle. That's how much, this is how much you guys mean to me. Plastic airline bottle. And it's the Sutter own brand. Mm. Mm. Spent some money. I spent some money on this for y'all. I think actually, you know what? I think my husband might have gotten this on an airplane at some point, And it now ended up in my cabinet. So, mm. yeah. Okay, moving on to the next tasting, which is going to be black bean hummus. With a, because, and because the, the whole thought process here is, is that black bean hummus is kind of spicy, right? Um, and, the, and that you want to mix, you have your spicy black bean hummus with tortilla chips um, and something sweet to kind of cut the spice, right? Um, so again, homemade, just for you. Homemade, homemade black bean hummus. And this is, again, it's another one that um, is not made with um, chickpeas, which is traditional hummus. Go have pizza. Go have pizza. Go have pizza. There's a box. There's a box of pizza. Have at it. I think we have some Good popsicles parenting. in. We have popsicles in the clubhouse refrigerator. Good parenting. Good parenting. Good okay. Beer. Okay. So this one has black beans in. This is a black bean hummus, and we're drinking it with a sweet white wine, riesling, gewurztraminer, moscato, whatever. And we've got this. I, this is all I had. In my, I have great value tortilla chip dips or dippers. They're like the little boats that hold all of the salsa. But we're not having any salsa, but we're having black bean. What do you think of the black bean? Is it spicy? Up, honey. Just pick it up, it's on the floor, it's fine. Pick it up. She picked up the five dollars little Caesar's pizza. She's my kind of mom. Bring the box here. I'm trying I'm trying that. This This is good stuff. The sweet really cuts the mm. it helps it helps cut the, the spicy black bean the box here. She's like, she's not even going to help her child with the pizza. She says, bring the box over here. Her kid's like three. Is she four yet? No, September. She's three. Yeah. She's three. She diligently brought the box over. Here you go. You want to join? And why is it, do you think that kids don't like pepperoni or sausage? Like, why don't they like any other well, kind of pieces besides cheese? Charlotte sometimes like, like she'll have spicier food. Because I think we just have more, like, more of it around. Because when I was younger, or sorry, when the kids were younger, we just didn't have it available. Now we have, I don't know why we just offer it to them. I don't know. Maybe you're, I think that we're all afraid when they're little to, like, we're, offer them things that are. Right. We're afraid. And I'm not bland. And then just stop. She barely, like, touched the hummus on this chip. I was like. I was like, I was it's like a dig, I was like a dig, dig. I was like, like a front end loader, like, like filling up the whole bowl of this chip, right into that. Thing. Why do you think it's so spicy? Because it does say on here, it says black bean it hummus, sweet and spicy. That. Let's see what it says. It says, it's made with black beans, black beans, tomato paste, oils, tahini, apple cider vinegar, red peppers, corn, pineapple, sugar, spices, chipotle pepper, lime juice, and a bunch of other like preservatives. I, I, I'm thinking this might be my favorite so I don't far. Know why. It's good. I like spicy. I like, I like spicy too, but like it, I don't think it would be the same. I mean, it, I think what makes it the, so tasty is the sweet, sweet wine. See, like I feel like half the boat. She's like, like all oh, petite and like delicate. Oh, that's so delicate. That's on. That's playing all over the radio right now by. I've been listening. Taylor Rocky. Swift. I need, I need to get out rapping. Oh my gosh! Okay, Taylor Swift, and I love you, Taylor Swift. But the, this particular song, "Delicate," I can really, I'm really kind of over it. Let's get, let's get something else in the rotation. But Rafi, yes, I thought that 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 was like the generation of my now thirty-something, 
nephew. I didn't realize that Raffi is still in circulation. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, who, else, who else is, is, is Barney still in circulation? No, I'm asking her because I don't listen to kids' music in my car. That's against my laws and my rules. In the car and the radio is my domain. I will listen to gangster rap in my car. I will listen to anything in my car, but I will not listen to children's music in my car. We'll watch what, children's movies rap? in my car, but who else yeah. is who's, 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 but, well, who's, Barney, who's hot right now? Barney's not hot. Barney's way off the charts. Disney, Who's dropping it like it's hot? Disney's dropping it like it's hot. Kids Bop is, but I don't do Kids Bop. I handed her a bit. I went to hand her this, and she went like this. Let's see what it, You would be surprised how many how many artists have done kids songs. Yes. There's like there's like Disney Bop or whatever. Yeah. And Lori Berkner is really hot. That's old school, but I don't even know who Lori Burke. Oh wait, yes I do. You want to? What? What children's music do your kids listen to? My kids don't even. Well, my my kids will listen to like my, my when I put them to bed at night. We have an Alexa, like one of those Alexa, like. Oh, that's awesome. In my son's room. And so, and so you know, Alexa play Disney Junior by Spotify, and they'll that's play awesome. Disney Junior songs. Or you know, we have, there's like a Disney like soundtrack playlist that he listens to. But outside of that, he's he's like dropping like a top, dropping like a top. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jump around, jump around. Yeah, that's my son. It's a good one. That she's dancing. She's jumping. No. See, we dance too. We do regular music too. Yeah, but like she's she's so funny. Like she texts me like in the middle of the day. She's like, I've been driving around for ten minutes in my car and I just realized I'm still listening to like the Frozen soundtrack. Yeah, by myself. By herself. No yeah. kids. No kids in the car. Let it go. Well, let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Turn away and close the door. Yeah, there you go. Wipe it on your shirt. That's right. It, it oxy clean. Go wash in the pool. She's got this gorgeous little rash guard on. White lot rash guard on. Mm -hmm. Pizza sauce all Pizza. over. Okay. So, oh, oh, chips are gonna fall off. Okay. So, seriously, this red, this this hummus is spicy. I like it. I, I the, the spice stays with you, and I kind of like that. About, I kind of like that too. About some. Food so far, sometimes. I think this is my favorite. I think this is my favorite. I, I like that. Yeah. I think it. It's this helps. The sweet and white helps with that. Yeah. I wonder how that would do with champagne. Have some we can try. Let's try it. See, this is why we go live because you know we're on the fly. We're mom's on the fly. We're gonna try with some champagne. You should see my cooler full of stuff. It's got like six bottles of wine in it. And we're not even supposed to have glass at the pool. That's good. How are you feeling? Champagneing. See if it gets the spicy out of my mouth. Have you ever had ice wine? Yeah. Like frozen wine? No. Ice wine. No, like ice vine. Ice vine. It's like from Canada. And basically, what it is in Canada, this it's, it's, it's usually a white one. And um, in Canada, they have they grow grapes in Canada, and they wait until the grapes on the vine are like basically frozen or have really? frost on them, like ice. And then they make this white wine with it, and it's very, very sweet. And they press it down into these kind of like tiny bottles. So this like tiny little thin, skinny bottle of ice vine will be like. I don't know. It'll be like a hundred dollars. This tiny little bottle, because they sip it like like a cognac. It's so sweet. It's like having a candy bar. And when I, I I've done a lot of events and stuff in Canada, and I always get so excited when they're like, oh, we're having ice wine as an aperitif or as a, you know an after dinner drink. Sounds delicious. Ice wine is very very sweet. Very sweet. Um, I'll have to I'll show you. I, I, I can think. Inniskillen is one brand. One brand or one varietal or, or or I almost said brewery, not brewery, not brewery, um, no. winery, vineyard. It's super yummy. I know Michigan does ice vines too because Michigan is, you know, upper, cool. they're UP, they're Upper Peninsula. So, yeah. I've been there with the Upers. Upers Have. So, here's, I keep getting, so I do these wine tastings, right? And then I keep getting contacted by people that say, you do this wine tasting stuff like every week. You should start to like get involved with one of these like traveling wine companies or these like, you know, wine distributors where like basically you get a subscription and they send you wines and they're like you need to start selling wine like you do these wine tastings, tastings every Friday night why don't you start selling like you can get you could get hooked up with one of these companies where they will like supply you the wines to taste in front of everybody and you can then you know market it and sell it you're already doing the marketing right I'm like you don't get it 
I'm really good at sales. I just don't like it. And I don't know, like we're moms, right? Like, do we have time for that? Like, if you have time for, but you know, I guess, I guess it makes sense. Cause like they mail you the wine. You never have to go out anywhere. Like you never have to go to the store to buy the wine. They just ship it to you, which, which I think makes sense. But like for me, and for, I, I don't know about you, but like, I'll be like, oh God, it's Friday. And I really want to have a Pinot Noir. I really want to have a champagne. I really want to have a, and I'm just going to run to my local, whoever sells it, and get it. I think she's graduating on the pizza. No, I'm I'm, I'm not. I'm keeping it classy for you guys. She's keeping it classy. Only yeah. having our We're keeping They're it coming. classy. Great value. Walmart brand. She likes them. Keeping it classy. Our little one's chowing down on them. Well, you know what I love about your little one? She could sit here very contently. Third kid. Say nothing and do nothing. Third kid. That's what I'm getting at. So I had this whole like question. Like, it's super hard with one, and it's even harder with number two because number one is hard because you don't know what you're doing. Number two, you think, oh, I know what I'm doing now. It's gonna get easier. But no, number two just like adds to the cluster. And then like this three make it easier, and then it's four at the point where like, oh no, but it's bad again. And, like at what point does it go? It's bad, but with more kids, it gets better, and then it gets bad. It gets worse. Well, she's like really good. She's watching her kids. My, I'm like, well, no, I he's, he's, with, he's, he's with your husband. No, they're, they're going to get Oswald together. Now. So I would say this. When your oldest child is old enough to um, like reach door handles and locks and um, you know physically I, carry a gallon of milk, it's easier because you can say go to the fridge, get, get me yourself the some milk, cereal. Right. pour the cereal for your siblings. We could eat, they could, if we left the house, they would survive because they would have cereal. Cereal and <laughs> milk. They have milk. And a banana or maybe a yogurt stick. Yogurt sticks save the dick. Yogurt sticks. My yes. kids will eat yogurt sticks any day of the week and twice on Sunday. I swear to goodness. But if you give them like a little yogurt cup, they're like, yeah, I'll take or leave it. But yogurt yeah. stick, there's magic no. in those yogurt sticks. I know. Magic. But yes, it's all good. And then they'll just go to sleep whenever they want to, wherever they will. Sometimes in the kitchen. Oh, that's okay. Still love her like this week i was like okay cereal yeah you can I mean, normally i'm like kind of like hyper like nope you have to have protein to breakfast and you gotta have a fruit at breakfast this week i was like yeah you can have that cookie crunch here yeah you can have those golden grams that's fine i didn't realize you want to have, you want have for lunch kids. too i'm sorry go ahead yes, what they have for lunch tell me no, 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 no i'm just saying like i'm like you want to have golden grams for lunch you have cookie? yeah that's all right that's fine that's how it was this week i didn't to this week i realized how much they love spaghetti for dinner because we had to go to swim meet, a swim meet. Boy, they. We had like, I had like 30 minutes to cook. And I was like, if you guys get into a fight, there will be no spaghetti. Oh, and then we're like, okay, mom. And, and, and they got into trouble. And they didn't. And I, I had to tell them, you get peanut butter sandwiches before your swim meet. And not spaghetti because you did that. And they were like, a very, very upset. You gotta drink that now because we're moving on to red. Oh my goodness. I will tell you that my son found my hidden stash of Pokemon cards mm. this week. What is it about Pokemon? I don't know. Like, I thought that was dead 20 years ago, but apparently it's back. He found my hidden stash of Pokemon cards. And he's like, Mom, what's this? And I said, Why do you have to snoop around for everything? Because oh, I'm so curious. He's just, I'm just so curious. Like, Your right. son steals Pokemon, my steals Q tips and hair ties. Okay. He didn't steal them, he just found them. And I was like, okay, you know you can't have those. And they're in packs right now. I'm like, you can't have the whole pack. You're gonna do one at a time when you do good things. So then I would wake up to him like making my bed, brushing his teeth, putting away his laundry. That's the power of the Pokemon card. You gotta drink that, cause we're moving on to- I know, I'm going. We're dr moving on to red pepper. We might have to be here till like nine o'clock. That's fine, they're not gonna kick us out. We live here. here. Yeah. We leave his car. We yeah. She can. She, yeah. We got room. We can stay at our place if we have to. So. She but she, she, well, I was rocking out to some '80s cardio on Pandora. Look, this girl's even trying to put her sunbelt on. She's like, I'm ready to swim. I need my sunbelt. She's okay. I'm moving on because she's nursing her white wine. I'm sorry. You move on. Anyways, yeah. And so she fell asleep to '80s cardio on Pandora. '80s cardio. Apparently, it was very soothing. 80s cardio <laughs> was soothing. I Michael would think, Jackson. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think of Michael Jackson and 80s cardio is super soothing. Okay, we're now moving on to 
Goodbye. People, I am so sorry. Where I'm in like glass four, and I'm looking at my daughter's piece of pizza, which has she ate all of the see how she took bites out of the crust, crust first, and then like one bite out of the front. And with no plates, no napkins, just right here on the table. And on look the sandy, dirty table. My daughter did. She ate the tips. That's it. And she handed me, a, I don't even know what this is. She handed me a flower or something. Somebody has, somebody at the pool has a flower lay. Because my daughter just brought me here, this. Okay. We are moving on to. I'm ready. I Drink think we're it. moving on to. Wait, what's the next hummus? You don't understand. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, the pressure. Okay, red pepper hummus. Red pepper, open that up. Oh, make yourself useful. Red pepper hummus and carrot chips. Carrot chips. Okay. If y'all don't, chip. chip. don't know Ooh, this already, I know, like, if y'all don't know this already, you can buy, you know, like, Sorry. big old, like, carrots in the bag at the store. You can buy carrot sticks. You can buy, like, julienne carrots, like, tiny little, like, they're almost like strips of carrots that you can, like, put into stir fries and stuff. And you can buy carrot chips. This is my, like, go-to for everything because this has got enough surface area that you can make it into a chip or to dip in anything. My kids will eat this, these like crazy. That's Maybe it's just awesome. the shape. Do you know, have you ever seen a carrot chip before? I have, but I've never actually You just went diving? My daughter just went diving. How was it? Did you find treasure? Yay. No, she didn't find any treasure. Okay, that's sad. She didn't find any treasure. Okay. She's gonna take another bite of the pizza on the wrong side and it's gonna be good. I'm still not gonna get the eat pizza yet. We're gonna, now. we're gonna be, at some point, we're gonna have so much of this that we're gonna be like, okay, this is fun. Let's I had it. pizza for breakfast with the kids, like very recently. I and I was her. like, you know what? I can't it's eat cold pizza. Good. I can't eat cold. Did you eat it cold or did you warm it up? Uh, yeah, I carried it out to the beach and was like, here's your breakfast. Here's your breakfast. You said you were hungry. Yeah, there you now. go. Eat up. You already had your breakfast before, but now you're hungry for second breakfast. Second breakfast. <laughs> second breakfast. Anyway, they ate it. So we're on to carrot chips. And if you haven't seen them yet, you need to have them because they dip everything really good. They dip chicken salad, hummus, egg salad, any kind of onion dip, like super yum. So we're, now it's roasted red pepper hummus with these carrot chips and a Pinot Noir. I do like Pinot Noir. That's a good sipping one. Mm. I was never a pepper fan until I met my husband. Like hot pepper? No, like red peppers, green peppers, never a pepper man. Hmm. Then my husband made me eat one. Like in, in Chicago, we have Italian beef sandwiches. Have you ever had an Italian yeah, beef sandwich? Yeah, those are good. It's literally like shredded beef that's been like boiled in oil and oregano and Italian seasoning, and then shoved into a bun with all these like marinated peppers. Jardinier. If, you, if you're from the Midwest, you know what is. And that's it's my so husband's funny. like, "What do you don't like peppers?" I'm like, "No." He made me eat the sandwich. I was like, "Okay." And I grew to love it. So now I'm kind of addicted to the peppers. Yeah. We're going in for number two. Pretty good. She's so good. She keeps looking over her shoulder to make sure their kids are alive. And I'm like, yeah, they're good. They're I covered. do trust your husband, I swear. It's, I swear they'll pull on somebody and... Well, it's, it won't be their fault. but And they won't know any better, but... They're getting better, though. This summer's been our better one. Well, and her kids are pretty good swimmers. I mean, like, they're not swim teams and stuff. Oh, that's up for Charlotte. She, she put her head in the water, though. Like, she discovered goggles, like, this week. What? Because I told her to put her head in the water, right? She didn't have goggles? And then, and then what kind she of mom are you? She didn't have goggles? I know, I didn't give her goggles. And then she's, because she never wanted to try to put her head in the water. And then she's putting her head in the water. What about, like, in, in a bathtub or stuff? Like, will they do she, it in the bathtub? No, no, she won't do it in the bathtub. But, and, and, and then she, so she started doing this jumping thing this week where she goes straight underwater, like all the way under and pops up. And I was like, that's super cool. You actually want to do that. Because when I tried that with you, like two weeks ago, you freaked out. She's seen her friends do it. Yep. The second they see their friends do it, they're all about it. Our kids are all about, they're lemmings. Our kids are all lemmings. And I'm yep. so okay with that. What do you think about this? Red pepper. I mean... Getting kind of full on the hummus, though. I know. Like, okay, I, it's really it's, hard though. It's pretty aggressive for me to like have six hummuses. Okay, let's see. What is it? What's in this one? Chickpeas. This is another chickpea base. 
chickpeas, roasted red peppers, olive oil, tahini, and seasonings. I mean, I like roasted red pepper. But I don't like it with the tahini anymore. You don't like this with tahini? And that's I okay like if you don't. Like it by itself? Like an after dinner? Like sipping? Relaxing wine? You want to eat red peppers as an after dinner snack? No, the wine. The Pinot Noir? The yeah, Pinot Noir. That. Without the food. No food needed for this. Yeah, the Pinot Noir. It's heavy. It's, a, it's not a summer. Maybe that's Pinot Noir will go okay with that little Caesar's five dollar pizza. It might be. <laughs> Let's try it. Try. Okay. I'm going to check my daughter's because... <laughs> Like a, don't she have the germs? Uh, no, she doesn't have germs. Look, look at that. She's taken one bite, two bite, three bite, four, four bites out of the crust and like two out of the front. I am not I'm officially claiming it as mine. Mmm. Tasty. I'm going to pound this back because we've got one more left. Oh, dear God. It's a dessert. It's the one you've been waiting for, people. It's the chocolate. That sounds like Is it Charlotte? It's all right. She lets her wrath lets her know if she's pissed off. Mm. She'll take care of herself, like I say. My daughter, like she's like, she come to me saying, "Mommy, Enzo hit me. Mommy, Enzo kicked me. Mommy, Enzo. and I looked at her at one point and said, "You know what? Stick up for yourself." Like that. I was like, "Whatever. We're done now. Stick up for yourself." Well, that's good. I do that too. Totally do that. Yesterday, the, the older cat, the older son came to me. And said that I took all the cheese off the pizza after I yeah. did some mom's prerogative. Anyway, she said, my younger brother tempted me to ride on his back for horsey, and then he just dumped me off and, against the wall. Now I have an ouchie, and I'm crying. Because <laughs> you're laughing so hard. That was a bad short. No, he was like crying. Oh, he's just hurt. And I was like, well, that was a poor. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I pretty much said that. I didn't uh, console him. That sucks. I'm so sorry to hear Just that. Just don't make that choice again. Yeah, bad. Okay, so we, what did we learn from this? Here's this is how classy I am. I didn't want to bring the entire bottle of port to this tasting, so I brought it in a water bottle. Water bottle of port. The last time we had port together, what were we tasting? Port and Reese's. No. Oh, the cinnamon. The, the cinnamon toast That's crunch right. cereal. Cinnamon toast crunch. Yes. That's probably my kid choking on something. That's my son. Yeah, it's, he's alright though. He's all good. No Heimlich needed. No resuscitation. So, yes. And you don't need to drink a whole lot of pork because it's it's like a cognac. This is like a sipping after dinner drink. Yeah, with pork. And why is it a sipping after dinner drink? Oh, and I've got some apple Wait, slices. Wait, where does apples come in with hummus? Because it's the da, 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 da. the hummus that you've been waiting for. Pretzels. <laughs> pretzels. Yes, here. You have pretzel. They see the picture. She's looking at me going, I don't know what the heck this is, but okay, I'll eat it. I'll put it right down on the table. I want your pizza. You want your pizza? Okay, good. Because I'm going to eat almost all of it. I'm going to eat some of it. Is that okay? Okay. Now, what is it? Dark chocolate. Ooh. Hummus. I might save room for this. Boar's Head makes it. And this was the challenge that my friend Hillary said. She said, you know what? Last week when I was chasing... What was I chasing last week? Oreos? Yes, I didn't. I, I think that Oreos are now my like favorite. Watch favorite, favorite. Well, anything we've tasted so far was Oreos and wine. And I will say this. And now I feel like... I, have, I literally have like 10 pa like packages of Oreos in my pantry right now. Some? I'm like on a serious Are Oreo bench. Over? But anyway, she said, okay, I'm challenging you to doing a dark, like one of the chocolate hummuses. Have you ever had, mm. had chocolate hummus? And no. She said, Boar's Head makes them. Boar's Head. You could probably get this at your grocery store because this is now becoming a little bit mainstream. Does it have to have tahini to be Well, I don't know. Hummus? Let's look. It's gluten-free. It's got to be healthy. It's got to be good for you. <laughs> I will tell you, I did include in my links to this stuff like a recipe where you can make your own. If for whatever reason your grocery store doesn't carry Boar's Head chocolate hummus, but you can make your own. And it's so simple. It's like it's either chickpeas or black bean and like cocoa powder so and some other ingredients. So it actually has like a vegetable in it. Yes. And, and I was like, oh, I bet you that's pretty good. Because I've made before for my kids, like brownies, but that is basically a black bean cocoa base. Or like mousse, you can make mousse as black bean, yeah. avocado and black bean, whatever. That's what I used, avocado, and I made them brownies, and they thought it was delicious. Delish! I know kids, they don't know. They, they don't, don't care. Know. 
I'm licking the plastic. We've gotten to that time in the tasting. I realize we've had like two minutes left, so we're still gonna be tasting. Suck that back, because you gotta have some pork with this. Pork and apples and pretzels. This is a really, this is like a super like bigger than you bag of pretzels, Chris. Okay, we're getting you some pork now. She's digging in. She's hoping that her husband's gonna come here at some point and relieve her. Well, we have an hour. Yeah, I'm like, is he gonna, is he gonna make it here or anything? You need to make it here? Probably. Okay, so we're tasting pretzel chips, chocolate hummus, and almost some apples. We're using the tops to the hummus so as a you, plate. Do you put it at like as like a apple? Then hummus no, on the I top? don't think we're that sophisticated, okay. honey. We ain't that. We ain't that sophisticated. I think that we just kind of like dip and sip. It's super thick. And they said that you can try it with pretzels, try it with some apples or fruit or whatever. I'm trying to taste the vegetables and I can see if my kids will eat it. I taste I'm chocolate. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Your husband's out. I don't know if it's a port. Mm. Oh, you have to have with the port. Oh, oh. I'll do another. Yeah, darn. You gotta take another dip because the port. Yeah, I'm gonna go in for a big one on this one. Dip it. Uh, port is super thick. You probably can't even see, but like the legs and like the, uh, the residue on this. Port is very high in sugar. His legs? I have legs. We'll talk about legs later. <laughs> Hold on to him. I might walk away. I might walk away. It says mm. ingredients in this one chickpeas, sugar, water, oil, cocoa powder, a vanilla, sea salt. I like some pizza. Right, go get pizza. Pizza. right over there. The Help yourself. I would like a million dollars. Over there. What would you like, Mom? What would you like, Mom? Well, a nap. I would like a nap, please. Yeah, that'd be nice. Million dollars or a nap? Mm, toss up. A long nap. A long nap. Yes. So, like, I, I have made. See, so now this one's made with chickpeas, but you can also make it with black bean. Mm. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. You really can't taste the black bean. Really? I've done it before. Uh huh. Well, which is healthier? It's the best vitamin content. I don't know. Because my kids eat. Very stuff do you give them vitamins? Do you give your kids vitamins? Sometimes. What kind of vitamins? I don't know. The Flintstone people's? That's my husband grew up on uh, Flintstone's vitamins. I never had any. Zana, you have your pizza over here. Oh, just yeah, just take it. It's at $5. That's $5. Pizza. Plus tax. And no delivery because she was the delivery. Yeah, we went to the window, right? Hmm? What window? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the thing about Little Caesars. Five dollars for an entire pizza, and they have like windows where you just drive up. And you say, "Give me a awesome. cheese pizza, damn it!" And they give you a cheese pizza. I'll eat this one. Yeah, you can eat that one. And they give you a cheese pizza. All right, so you've You're had hungry. you've had that with the. She's had it with the. Oh yes, I must try the apple. She's had it with the pretzel chips. Now they, they said to have with pretzels. And I find pretzel pizza. sticks. Pretzels. There's something to be said for like the pretzel crisps. You know these things. Chocolate. Apples with chocolate. Like they go with everything. Like they're just they're thin enough. They have enough surface area where they like they can hold whatever it is that you're dipping on it. But now they also say chocolate fruit. What do you think, fruit or chip? Fruit. And so I try the mommy juice. Porch. Mm. I like that. Apple. Like this. Yep. Ice poison. What's that? Ice poison. You don't want it. Austin what? has some. Oh, oh Austin, are you okay? Because we have some poison. Oh, it's top. No, it's chocolate. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. There, there, are, there are mommy drinks and there are poison. <laughs> this is the only way no, to keep one. our kids from. This is, this is you like the chocolate. This is a sock. Oh, is it regular chocolate? No, this is, it is a sock. It is regular chocolate. I don't know whose sock it is, chocolate. but it's a black, soggy, bin in the pool sock. Yeah. <laughs> so, with that, I think My, that we're going to call it a regular chocolate. Yeah. Thank y'all for joining us. I know that we probably didn't spend as much time on the chocolate hummus as possible, but like I had, I'll put the recipe again in there. It's super yum. I would make it myself and I would It's buy so it easy to make, you guys. There's like five ingredients in yeah. just like five minutes. It's so easy. Look so, at my in the comments of this. 
and Thomas said, I put it out. They'll be in there. It's so easy. It, it talks about using chickpeas and there's black beans too. And, and I don't think that it will taste bad with anything that you drink. Do you? Nope. At this point, I have drink number five. All right, here. I'm very full though. I've had a great meal. She's had a great meal. I know. I was like, what are we cooking? I probably shouldn't eat dinner before the next tasting. Did you have dinner before you came here? I did. I'm sorry. I had an almond. Heaven forbid I had Taco Bell. She had, oh, Taco Bell. We're going to do a tasting with Taco Bell people. Okay, so I need another challenge. Hillary asked me this challenge about tasting wine with chocolate hummus. What's the next, what's the next challenge? I'm thinking hummus. Um, I'm thinking Taco Bell. I'm thinking cookie dough. I'm thinking jello. What else am I thinking? I'm thinking pudding. Wait, hummus with what? I'm no, sorry. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about what my next my next wine pairings are gonna be. Cookies. I'm thinking cookie dough and wine, mm. pudding jello, Taco Bell. We make Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Hey, We're in Taco Bell. Cheese. So, all right, all right. Now all right. The, kid, the kids yeah, are coming out yeah. now. Oh, oh it's dinner time. Okay, it's getting real now. All right, guys. You Cheers. Cheers. You I need, I need a refill. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.